Hey. Come here often. It's been a minute since I've uploaded a video and I thought I would let you all know why. No, I did not catch Rona-chan and thankfully neither did any of my friends and family during this time. I also happen to work from home already so uh, it, my life hasn't really been all that affected by quarantine. Except for three videos I wanted to make that back to back, one after the other, all ended up needing some part or tool that I just didn't have and had to ship in from overseas. Yes, shipped through a considerably saturated postal service. Parts and tools that, like most electronics, come from one of the most affected countries out of all of them. Orders I made over two months ago still haven't arrived, and granted, considering that's probably the biggest problem I've had during this pandemic, I've been doing pretty well, but I hope that kind of explains why uh, videos kind of came to a screeching halt. Just turned out every video I tried to start, uh, I couldn't end up finishing. I know a lot of you are excited for the ultimate Windows 98 PC, and trust me, I am too. Uh, I've actually already bought uh, all the parts that I'm going to need to put that together. Uh, they're just all stuck in international mail limbo at the moment. So at one point I thought, well, if I... I'm struggling to get videos out there, uh, maybe I'll try to stream something. And you may have seen the poll I made asking what you guys might want to see. At the time I was really into Tetris and thought it might be interesting to write a little multiplayer Tetris clone that could play on old computers and new computers at the same time, and thought that would be kind of a cool thing to make on stream, and which do you seem to agree? I dreamed of a satisfying, fun, free downloadable multiplayer Tetris game that could play on any computer, old and new. But when I researched a little further, I found that the Tetris company, owner of the rights to Tetris, is actually very protective of the Tetris trademark. They have been known to regularly take down unlicensed Tetris clones and even sue if they feel like it. You might have wondered why pretty much every unlicensed Tetris game is called something like Block Puzzle or Brick Classic. But it turns out even that's kind of playing it risky. One of the more famous games to get sued is called Mino, no Tetris branding in sight, yet they still got sued and the judge ultimately concluded their game was too similar to Tetris and ruled against them. This was discouraging to say the least, uh, but not to be deterred I actually sent the Tetris company a message on their official licensing page asking what it would take to allow me to pull this idea off. They never got back to me which is totally because of quarantine and not because they didn't give a shit about my nerdy idea that wouldn't make anyone any money. So the stream never ended up happening either. The first half because I was waiting for the Tetris company to respond, and the second half because I realized they weren't going to respond to me, but thought it might be weird to have held a poll and then to not do the one that won. I know it wouldn't have really mattered and most of you probably wouldn't have minded, but Sometimes, when you try to pull off a bunch of ideas that you think are going to be cool and you just kind of get roadblocked in every direction, it just kind of gets you out of the groove of doing those things, uh, which is kind of what happened to me. So that's been my quarantine so far. But that being said, I intend to get right back into said groove. I do have some ideas now that I should be able to pull off considering we're still, for the most part, in lockdown. So thank you guys for- ooh, ooh. So thank you guys for sticking around and your patience. See you in the next video, hopefully sooner rather than later. 